have prayer requests this week. I ask your prayers for Nelda Campbell, who is uh, Don Cleary's sister. And you know, she was in a horrific accident a few weeks ago. And she's recovering now at the Madonna Rehab Center in Omaha. Also prayers for Amber Beaver, who is recovering from her heart surgery. Please remember Pastor Harold in your prayers. He is still having some residual effects from the concussion that he sustained about a month ago, and he's still having some dizziness and keeping him from being his old self and being able to get out and do the things that he wants to do. Might want to give him a call, too, if you get a chance. Um, also, I also got a call just right before I left home from Karen Vanderstow and her brother, Gerald Lothrop has passed away. And so she's just in the process of, of preparing to go up and be with the family and do whatever kind of funeral arrangements that they'll be able to do. But please keep her family in your prayers as well. Um, Sunday, remember that we are switching over daylight saving time and you are going to spring forward so those of you that are planning to attend the worship service or watch it online, that we are going to be amending the time for that. Also, our Sunday school will reconvene on that morning, um, March 14th. Both Karen and um, Kelsey are preparing the lessons and getting ready to start Sunday school again. All of these services will be happening uh, in our face masks and with some social distancing so that we can Stay with us now for it is evening And the day is almost over Let your light scatter the darkness And shine within your people
blessed are you.